Welcome back to the Harma channel. Today we'll be talking about what do I look for when I hire a new licensed agent. If you're new to this channel, can you please subscribe and make sure you leave some comments. Stay tuned and I will be right back with you. So guys, let's talk about what's important to me when I look for a new agent. I usually don't end up hiring brand new agent into my team. Our company has an amazing mentoring program. I'm not a best mentor when it comes to teaching the basics, the contract, the disclosures, and what essentials you need to know the first 30 days or so. We have great mentoring program and I'm sure every office, every brokerage will have that too. But if I am interested to build my team and grow my team, these are the few things that I care about. Number one, the work ethics. If you are not hardworking and you are feeling entitled and you feel that things were given to you before and this should be the same, probably we're not a right match. Another one that is important to me, it's your past. I didn't go to college. I didn't get that opportunity because I had to work. But even if you have gone to college, but after college you have changed career and if every six months you have done something different because you didn't like it and you jumped to something else, it is unlikely I'm gonna hire you because you're not committed to the decision you make. I'm looking for someone who's been consistent and they're not afraid of failing and they don't make reactive decisions and jump to something else. Building a career, it takes time. Number three, you have to have the desire required to succeed. It's not about failing and, oh my God, I got hurt. This best friend of mine didn't buy the property from me. You have to have that desire so you can get back up and move on. And if you don't have the desire and the passion to succeed in a high level, it is unlikely you will survive in real estate. The fourth one is common sense. You can be the most educated, smartest person, and you can have the best school, masters and MBA. I really don't care if you don't have a common sense. That one, no one can teach. If you don't have a common sense on how to work through the challenges, working with an agent on the other side, sellers and buyers, the lenders, there's so many people get involved when you open an escrow. If you don't have the common sense, there is no way you can survive in my team. The next one is the professionalism. I said it before in a different video, I don't want you to have the most expensive car. I don't need you to look the most expensive suit and dress up for it. But what I do care, if you're a professional, you wash your car, you have a clean clothes, and you present yourself well. You're an extension of me, and you have to present yourself well at all times. And the last thing is ability to understand and learn about the client's needs. That's important. You have to have a listening skill set. You have to understand, make notes, so you can go back and deliver what they're looking for. So if you're interested to be in my team, you better have all those qualities. In any business, I think if you're hiring someone, they should have these qualities. If you're liking my videos, can you please like it, subscribe, and make sure you come back for more videos. And thank you for watching.